This video is gonna be a follow-up on how to animate captions that you created using Premiere Pro's automatic transcription. Now this feature is really awesome, but unfortunately you can't animate a caption track inside of Premiere Pro. But there's a really easy workaround. I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. One is we're gonna create a follow along animation. And the second is we're gonna have this text pop in at certain points. And I'll show you how to create a preset for this that automatically does the animation for you. Stick around, we're gonna learn a ton in this video. So the first style of animation, we actually can create directly in the caption track layer, which is really great because that automatic transcription feature saves you a ton of time, but it doesn't allow you to animate any of the features like a text layer would. This first style doesn't require any keyframing, so we can do it all inside the caption layer. Basically, all we need to do is make a cut at each individual word break and change the color so that the color matches each word that the speaker is saying. Go to your caption layer, select the first word, and we're gonna choose a color, pale green here, and make sure you copy this color code here. That's gonna save you a lot of time. So once you change the first color, you move on to the second one. Make a cut when the next word starts, change the color. We'll just paste the color code in. And essentially you just repeat this process for the entire video. So when you're done with this, make sure to watch back your video and make sure your timing is correct. If you do need to adjust the timing, all you need to do is hit the end key or the rolling tool at it and just shift this over a little bit so it better matches up. I do find that sometimes you wanna make that next caption come in maybe a frame or two earlier. It just looks better on video, but watch it through and just make sure everything's lining up pretty well. And our video looks like this. Go with LeafGuard. It was, you know, it's it's worth the investment, and you know, it's the proof is in the pudding because they function really, really well. All right, so let's talk about the second style. So I've got another sequence opened up here. Now, in order to animate these, they need to be a text layer. And what I found the easiest way to do that quickly is to just copy and paste the text from the caption layer into a text layer that you've created. This is going to copy over the formatting and the styling and then also you don't have to retype everything in. So this is what this process looks like. First, we'll create a new text layer and type in whatever we want. The text layer shows up as pink, and now we're gonna want to double click on the caption layer. This is going to open up our captions up at the top left, and now we can just double click to select the text, copy this over, and then we can paste this text by double clicking on the text layer, going back up to that panel and pasting it right there. This is gonna copy over the styling and spelling, and all you need to do now is position and scale up this text to match your caption layer. Now it's important to make sure that you center align this text so that when we make the other ones, you don't have to reposition it every time. So let's get this as close as possible to our caption track text here. If it doesn't line up perfectly, that's fine. We're gonna be replacing these all anyways. Then we're going to stretch out our text layer to encompass the full length of the caption track. And then you're gonna make a cut at each caption break. And now we're gonna do that copy and paste procedure that I showed you earlier. Double click our caption track, go up into the captions, copy it, double click our text layer, and then paste it into each of these. And you're gonna repeat this process for each break, copying the text from the caption file above to the text layer below. Now, since we have these converted into text, now we can animate them and we can animate any of the features inside of the effects control panel. So your scale, your rotation, your opacity. I'm gonna show you an easy one, to, a, a quick scale up, and we're gonna create a preset for it. The first thing you need to do before animating text, and this is really important, is to make sure you move your anchor point of the actual text layer to the center of the text. So click on your text layer and then click on the motion tab inside the effects control panel and you wanna move this little crosshair so that it's directly in center of with the text. This is important because you want a, the scale to come from the center and not come from the center of the screen. Now we can add some keyframes. First, you wanna navigate about five or six frames into this text. Click on the scale key inside of the motion tab. That's going to create a keyframe and then navigate back to the start of that text layer and set the scale to zero. So this is what it looks like. And that looks okay, you know, but it's a linear scale. It would look better if we had some easing to it. So click on that text layer, 
go to the second keyframe, right click on it and click easy in. And then that's gonna smooth out that stop. And there's one way to make it even more smooth is if you click on the drop down arrow and zoom in a bit and take this and smooth this out even more. We're just gonna pull this to the left. So that makes the animation just look a little bit better. So now that we've animated one, we're gonna to wanna to do this to each, each text layer. But instead of animating it manually, we can create a preset that we just drag onto each of these. It's really easy. So click on your text layer again, go into the effects control tab, right click on the motion tab and click save preset. You're gonna to wanna to click on anchor to endpoint. This is gonna make sure that the duration of the animation stays the same. We'll name this scale up and then we'll save it. And then if we go into the effects tab, we can then search for the preset we just created. So we called it scale up. So all we need to do now is select all of our text layers that we have not animated yet and then drag it onto there. And then we just play the video. Go with LeapGuard, it was, you know, it's, it's worth the investment. And so one thing I noticed is I think we can add some even more emphasis when the speaker says really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm going to individually cut these up and make them bigger. I'm gonna first reset our animation so that it's back to normal. And we're going to scale up our text to make it even bigger. I'm gonna cut it at each point. And then I'm gonna drag our preset on there to, onto these three again. And then we have it automatically animated. They function really, really well and haven't had an issue since they put them in. So that's how you animate captions. Again, I'm hoping Adobe at some point allows you just to convert a caption layer to a text layer. But for now, this is a great way to really up your level of your videos and still take advantage of that transcription feature. So I hope you learned a ton in this video. At Capture, our goal is to make video easy for your marketing team. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out or leave a comment on the video below. My name is Rob Debroy and thanks for watching.